I'm just going to show you how easy it is to put the back in this car. The back of it here, 19 mil marine ply. It's not structural ply, it's actual marine ply, so it can handle a lot of water. Uh, cost a fortune to fit this out marine ply. Uh, I've got this back of this car set up so it can handle three motorbikes, one full-size adult dirt bike and two children's bikes. They tie down here, here and here, one at the back here and two through the sides. I'm just going to show you, it takes about 30 seconds to put the back in this car so you can turn it into a two sleeper to a four. Gently send it through. At the front, it just hangs in this way. It just slots in here. Like that. This connects to this cable that I just leave here full time. Once that's all supported, you just push it in, and you. This can support two adults, no problem. So I set it up. This is 600 mils, 60 centimeters between here and here, and I did that so you can easily sleep two down here and two up the top with the mattress. If you're a little bit taller, I find it's more comfortable to sleep down the bottom because you've just got slightly look, more leg room down here. Have uh, a, someone that's six foot sleeping really easily down the bottom, two adults. I also, because there's maybe sometimes four people sleep in the car, I cut a hole in the roof and I put a roof vent in so at night all the hot air just gets vented out through there. It's got a mozzie screen that just sits back up there and you can close it, you can leave the roof vent open. Also, in the back here, I've mounted up. A nice little LED, so you've got an extra light, so it's very bright in the inside here. Also with this van, I fitted it out so above the wheel well, there's all storage area all through the back here. So I keep my ratchet straps, and in this one, I keep all my sleeping bags all the time in the car. I've got pillows, mattresses and sleeping bags in there all the time. On this side here I keep some camping stuff like a fan, 12 volt fan and stuff like that. So um, you can only access it through the top or down through the sides on either side here. Sometimes I keep an umbrella and fishing rods and stuff like that down the side there. Car seats are quite old. Um, they are quite dirty, but I had them covered with uh, car seat covers, and uh, but I'm taking them out and putting them in my new van. So uh, if you want to tolerate it like that, that's up to you. Uh, you know, it's an older car, but it's still a great old thing. I've got a new, newish, it's about two years old Pioneer headset in there. This doesn't have a CD player, but you can connect it to your iPhone through the USB or through an auxiliary port it goes great and it's hooked up to some four inch fusion speakers at the front sound system cranks no problem no issues with it there um, no cracks in the windscreen whatsoever so there's no issues with registration the engine bay on my cars are always immaculate I've taken out the old air filter here and put a pod filter in um, I've done this because the old boots on the air filter were all cracked and it was letting air in bypassing the filter, so we got rid of that. I've also blocked off the EGR thing, which is the, 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 the it, it blows all the gas coming out of the top of the motor and instead of it going back into the engine, which can create it to idle really rough, I've rigged up a double filter on here. So the car runs absolutely perfectly. Transmission fluid you'll see is absolutely crystal clear. I've had the transmission serviced a few times on this car now. The bonnet on the car is not original. Uh, my wife had a little tangle here on the front quarter panel. This panel's got slight damage to it. You might just see that there. And as a result, this bonnet was just pressed in a little bit on the side. So I fitted a new bonnet up and uh, had to get that panel hammered back into place and make it all tidy again has got roof racks and also on the roof racks here I've put these nuts or these loops in place so if you do have surfboards on there they're actually hard mounted to the car where the strap goes over the top 
That's so uh, if you ever go past a truck or something like that, the roof racks aren't going to blow off the car. It's impossible for them to blow off because they're actually ratcheted to the roof of the car. Um, I'm always worried about losing my boards off the roof. That's why I did that. It is an older car. Paint is quite patchy, but I have maintained the paint completely. It's just uh, you know, old matte black spray job, but it, I've just kept the paint right up to it so it keeps all the rust out. The car is completely rust free. There's one or two little tiny patches just creeping in just here and here underneath the window, but they are very minor. Uh, I just made sure I pack the paint into it so they don't get any worse. Just do a cold start on it now. Start some purrs like a kitten first time. No weird noises, doesn't blow smoke. You can hear the car just grab up nicely. Gutter brush on this rim. Um, my wife used to touch park the gutters quite often. She used this car every weekend to do the markets. Tread on the tires is fantastic. Uh, no need to worry about uh, changing the tires anytime soon.